He's the second Malaysian leader to be charged for corruption after losing power. Muhyiddin Yassin has pleaded not guilty to all six charges. Four counts of abusing his power to obtain $51 million in bribes for his party and two charges of money laundering a sum of $43 million. He is alleged to have committed these offences during his tenure as Prime Minister from 2020 to 2021 and faces up to 20 years in prison and a fine if found guilty. This is part of political and selective persecution. Yeah? It's not that it is corruption. Of course, you have to go to court and let the court decide what is the real situation. And I am innocent until proven guilty by the court. The charges relate to a government economic stimulus program launched during his time as Prime Minister. Outside court, dozens of his supporters rallied to defend him. Was it wrong that he helped us? He's here in court because he was helping people. What's wrong with this? What's wrong with this government? The charges come less than four months after Muhyiddin's alliance lost a general election. The polls were closely contested and returned a hung parliament. It is very heartening to see... Rival Anwar Ibrahim was eventually appointed prime minister. Six out of 13 states are set to hold local elections by the middle of this year. That's again expected to be closely fought and seen as a referendum of sorts on the new administration's performance. Muyidin's supporters say the charges are an attempt to weaken the opposition. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera, Kuala Lumpur.